I'm actually not sure how this video is going to go. I'll be doing the most on this space actually. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ayo. I'm a Lagos based YouTuber, currently schooling in the for Obafemi Aoloe University. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Join this amazing family then and subscribe. So, <laughs> I am blushing because I don't know how this video is going to go. I mean, I have been very, very on and off. I mean, like the most inconsistent person and honestly speaking i i'm just making this video for like a recap of what my 2022 was like so yeah recap 2022 my 2022 we thank god <laughs> when everybody was saying shiggy 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 i really didn't know that it was actually i was actually going to be part of the shiggy or even have a taste of what shiggy was like it reached me I think the better part of my 2022 was just a very hurtful one, you know, roller coaster of emotions and it was like, am I going to even scale through this year at all? Mentally, I was like down, emotionally, I was down, like, more like the worst things, not the worst thing, so to say, but it was like, I did not have tough skin for what I had or what came for me during the year. And I think like a few days ago, someone asked me what was my highlights for the year. And I think I remember telling to the person that it was my birthday. And that was like in March. And I don't know, maybe because I had not looked back and I had not evaluated what the year was like. So that was why I said that. Because to me at that time, it felt like I was the happiest at the time. And the 29th of December, 2022, I am making this video. And it's going to be about lessons learned in 2022 like an overview or like a recap of what my 2022 was like and lessons learned and maybe goals for 2023 but i'm going to put this to you what are you grateful for in 2022 what was like your highlight tell me in the comment section i'll be waiting for you and then i resumed school and school was fine in my head i was supposed to graduate this year and boom as it happened the strike happened and it like just changed my entire system i don't know it had like a very big effect on me because i was uncertain as to what i wanted to do how i wanted the entire okay on time 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 was going and it was like you needed to do something there was that pressure because some other people had like things figured out and they were busy with like some stuff a lot of people made money and stuff and there was me confused like oh my goodness what am i going to do it went well i could say the earlier part of the strike i was like down emotionally and even mentally but i'm i'm, I'm grateful for where i am presently because i think i have been able to move past that phase of my life I'm happy for where i am now because i'm in a better place emotionally I'm more coordinated and it's like oh okay i'm aware of myself and what i am i think a lot of people are not so aware of themselves in the sense that you don't know what you are like you don't know what you are you don't know who you are rather so ask yourself who are you do you even know you so I understood myself more and i was able to help people understand me and yeah, i used to have issues of communication which of some sort affected like my relationships now it's like different i think i've been able to learn how to express myself be more expressive and communicate better so yeah, I think my highlight has to be who I am now because I think I'm, more, I'm most surrounded with people that are really and genuinely support me and which really makes me feel at peace and like, oh, okay, someone's actually looking out for me. And it's like, I'm really grateful. So I'm, I could say I'm grateful for the people that I met, people that I got to know them better. Obviously I had like fallouts during the year, during the entire year. like. Friendships, relationships, situationships, and all that. But I mean, I'm most grateful for where I am now. What was your highlight for 2022? <laughs> what was your highlight for 2022? I've been mean, watching one YouTube video. For 2021? Yeah, like yesterday. Yeah, I'm still stuck now. I'm still stuck in 2022. You know, you know, you know, you know what too far. I yesterday I watched the video. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> for that video, the guy had come. I don't know whether the joke funny or you know funny. 
a comedian. The guy who comes stage talks a lecturer as a look you face where they ask you questions. See if you talk, don't give a question like highlight the following. Mm. <laughs> mm. I, know what, I saw I saw what you did yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. But, you know, I don't get the joke already. Say if you show the text. Say if you show short, short list the all those kind no, of guy lecturer. Say if you fast, I'm going to say elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> all those kind of things. Just a pose. <laughs> well, <laughs> people will not meet one on. That's it. No way. People, <laughs> <laughs> when they just call it love, they love, they love. I don't say they were. I don't say they were. Joke not to. Nah, old people would laugh. I know. If you check that class, the address, people will go be like twenty-seven, like your age, twenty-six. Why you can't get a joke? No, I know. I've not been laughing. I never reached twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what's your highlight? Or short list? I got some clock pots. <laughs> so what she did? <laughs> no, but aside like all of the a bit terrible stuff that maybe happens in my life or let's say the bad thing i have like so, like great things that actually happened to me i think for the first time okay i have always been the one to like always doubt myself as to my abilities and like the things that i can do and that i'm capable of doing so in my head it's like i am against myself so i think i've also learned to embrace myself and my craft like embrace what I do that I am actually good and I can be better and there are opportunities that will lie or lay out for me when or if I am good. So I have always like drawn myself back in like some instances. For example, I remember me, uh, me getting my first PR package from Darling, Nigeria and it was like can I pull this off? Can I can I can I like I was constantly doubting myself and yeah so like, getting that package it was like oh my god i actually have like the ability to actually do big stuff and attract big stuff do you know what i'm saying so yeah that was like whatever i liked then i think for the first time this year it was this year i actually got my first um job in relation to architecture i can remember before now it used to be oh I can't, I can't, that can I ever like actually really do this architecture thingy? And to my surprise, something came up and it was like, okay, I'm actually in architecture right now. So yeah. And then okay, I had issues with my business starting off the year and it was like nah, I really just needed to stop and like just that chapter wasn't really for me right now. But I mean, because of the strike, I was able to start again like rebrand my business and stuff and it was like big stuff for me honestly and then I think I got better as a person I got better as a person I got better in like different ways and I was able to up my skill to an extent even in architecture and even my studies and stuff so yeah those and I was able to I was I got closer to God I got closer to God biggest stuff I got closer to God Okay, so moving on, moving on is like my goals for year 2023. I don't have it like entirely outlined yet and precise, but at least like these are like, well, I, I don't want to say little things, but these are some of the things that I'd actually really love to do and like develop more. And it has to be create, creating content more. I think I've had issues with consistency. Like I said earlier, I had issues with the fact that, oh, I was a creator i didn't want to embrace the fact that i was a creator so i always shy away from the fact that i'm a content creator and maybe that way it had a way of drawing me back as to the things i'm supposed to be doing and like the level i'm supposed to be operating but yeah i have embraced it that i have a content creator and i'll be in your faces by god's grace so <clears throat> so i think i'm going to embrace the fact that i'm a content creator more and create content more and try to be consistent so creating content i'm pushing myself more um improving on my skill and adding more value to myself like maybe take classes that would help me out in becoming a better person and also becoming better at my craft make my relationship with god better which is like the ultimate thing so yeah get closer to god again next year i'm very intentional about the things of god god helping me too so there is that 
and then journal more i think when i was in like my very low space or my very low state or something you know i was down i think what one thing that helped me is being like writing things down journaling basically like journals so i was able to like journal a bit so i'm hoping like next year i'm able to journal more and write things down and entirely become a better person in 2023 so tell me in the comment section what your expectations are what are your goals for year 2023 or and also what were your highlights for year 2022 what you hope to do better and you know stuff like that i want to know in the comment section i'm waiting for it and this is another way of me knowing that you watched this video to this point so yeah presently i write in exams and i am in severe pain but anyway wish me success in my exams because i'll be writing my exams to do new year so anyways i'll be writing my exams so wish me success and if you've not subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button and just point join this amazing family and help in achieving my goals too because obviously i want to grow this channel like grow this channel i'm very intentional about the growth of this channel next year join this amazing family comment everything i said you comment during the video and like and share and i'll see you guys happy new year guys